What's up, riders? It's a ride home review, retro review. And this week, uh, we're going to be talking about Elizabeth, The Golden Age, which is the sequel to Elizabeth um, from 1998. And it is directed by Shekhar Kapoor and stars uh, Kate Blanchett, Clive Owen, and Jeffrey Rush. But before we get into that, do not forget to subscribe to Ride Home Reviews on your favorite podcasting platform, as well as like on Facebook, follow on Instagram, and once again, we are now back on YouTube. I figured since we're uh, coronavirus bound, hey, let's get back at it. So let's get into it. What did, what is the What is the film about? Well, this is the latter portion of Elizabeth's career as queen. And uh, she runs into a couple of different issues. One being uh, Mary, Queen of Scots. And the other, the Spanish, uh, the Spanish Armada. So, plus, there's love interests, all this other stuff. So, it's the latter portion of Elizabeth's career, whereas... The first Elizabeth uh, took place uh, towards the beginning of her career as queen. Um, so what did I like about this film? Well, I like the fact that Kate Blanchett returned as Elizabeth because I thought she would did a fantastic job in the first film. In fact, uh, she won a Golden Globe, uh, did not win the Oscar, and I thought that this film was kind of snubbed in a way for it came to best picture so so with that we got uh Kate Blanchett reprising her role as Elizabeth the next thing I liked was similar to the first film the art direction the production design the costume the costuming all three of those things were just awesome very key very uh um, aesthetically pleasing. Um, it just the sets were great. It just very real um, or felt real. Uh, the costumings were just, costuming. I don't even know if it was completely accurate, but I'm telling you, it was outstanding. Especially um, the uh, the costuming on and for Elizabeth uh, herself. Um, so. That's what I really liked about the film. I thought that that was great. What I didn't like about the film was almost everything else. I just felt, number one, the pacing was frenetic and off. I just didn't, I just didn't really care for how things seemed rushed or uh, just undeveloped. And I mean, it's not like this story is difficult to uh grasp um it's there's a it's a huge part of the store the history of england and it just i felt like they used too much two different plot lines and two different storylines that just um uh, actually three different plot lines that just meshed in and didn't mesh and they just seemed disjointed the acting seemed stilted so the direction um that you're giving uh, hopnotch stars such as elizabeth or uh, excuse me kate blanchett and jeffrey rutch who are both oscar nominees and oscar winners so right there off the bat uh, i don't understand why you're not allowing them to shine the way they're supposed to um and it just it was just muddled it just didn't make sense even the music seemed formulaic too loud just didn't give you the same tones and the same feel as uh the original the the, the first one and and so it just it just didn't hit just didn't hit at all um uh and then I didn't feel like Jeffrey Rush's character really got any type of... There was a lot of confusion. There's a lot of confusion over who's doing this and who's attached to what and why this just popped up. And all of a sudden, you have 
this going on. It, it, it just felt like a mess uh, almost from the very beginning because I felt that the music just didn't, didn't do what it was supposed to do and threw you off. So what to watch for? The only saving grace in this is watching Kate Blanchett perform. And I felt that part of that was just very stilted and, and held back and not given her the, the freedom and room to really uh, show her, her stuff. So, so I give this a flat out no. Do not see this film. Stay with the original. That is where it should be. So there you have it. It's streaming right now on Netflix. And you can catch it there if you want to. Um, if you're a Kate Blanchett fan, she's ph- phenomenal. Uh, but the movie is just not good. It's just not good. So that's my review. That's my retro review. This film came out in 2007. Uh, so if you have any questions or comments, go ahead and hit me up. There you go. Also, don't forget to subscribe uh, to this on your favorite podcasting platform as well as... Like on Facebook, follow on Instagram, and subscribe on YouTube. Until uh, the next film, watch something cool. Have a good one.